This video is going to show you the quickest and easiest way to write 2000 word essays as SEO content in the shortest amount of time possible. We're going to be using ChatGPT. We're going to be using the front end of ChatGPT. I have Pro. You don't have to necessarily use Pro, but I definitely recommend ChatGPT4. So what I'm going to say to ChatGPT is please give me an outline of um, for an essay about Cesare Attilini, the history and future of a classic menswear brand. The intro should be 300 words. The body should be 1000 words and the uh, conclusion should be 300 words. That's about 1,600 words. Let's see if it gives me a good outline. Title, introduction, 300 words, a brief overview of Cesare Tellini, brand significance in the world of menswear. Evolution of the brand over the years, a glimpse into the future of the brand. The body, 1,000 words, history of Cesare Tellini, origins in Naples, Italy. Founding by Vincenzo Attilini, who is the founder, the Neapolitan tailoring tradition, Vincenzo's innovations, break away from the traditional British tailoring. This is super accurate information. Why did it just start as a, what, what is it doing? Why is it, <laughs> why, why did it suddenly start doing CSS? What the hell? I've not seen that in a long time. That's really strange, actually. So I've got a prompt here. I'm just going to ignore the CSS thing. I'm not really sure what the CSS thing's doing. This is not the prompt. I have my prompts and I have my embeds here and I have my internal links at the bottom. This is all stuff that I've already made. Um, basically, you need a list of links that you want to internally link to and you can use embeds if you want, although I find that ChatGPT4 uh, within this context doesn't work that well for that. Okay, so now we've got the title and the introduction. Let's do this and then this. So all I'm going to do is going to paste the prompt here. So write the essay, split the content up into headings using H1, H2, H3 headings, as well as lists, as well as lists, boldening, and other markdown formatting. Finally, please use the links I give you at the end of the prompt as hyperlinks within the essay. Title, Cesare Tellini, blah, 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 blah. Okay, I'm going to change this to 500 words, and I am going to paste some links from here. So we'll just grab all my Cesare Tellini links. Here are my internal links. And then we're going to hit enter and we're going to see what happens. So Cesare Tellini, the history and future of a classic menswear brand. One introduction, brief his overview of Cesare Tellini. Cesare Tellini is a prestigious Italian menswear brand with roots in the Neapolitan tailoring tradition. With ne They've really made this a lot faster. With nearly a century of history, the brand is globally renowned for its impeccable craftsmanship and innovation in classic menswear. It offers a wide range of products, including suits, sweaters, shirts, blazers, and sports jackets, coats. This is perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. It's giving me all my internal links. It's already doing all the H2 headings for me. And the content is hopefully going to be very, very long compared to the other kind of content that... I have been making recently. I do find that the playground works a little bit better for this. However, I've had a lot of people complaining that they don't know how to get onto the playground. So I decided to make this video to show people how to do this specifically in the um, front end UI of this. So it seems to just be going onto the body now, which I didn't tell it to do, which is pretty interesting. It's kind of losing its formatting a little bit as well, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say stop. Like there's no there's no harm in saying stop in this context, because it's doing something that I told it I didn't tell it to do, and I don't really want it to do to be honest with you. So we're gonna stop it there and we're gonna grab this. This is a huge huge bit. What is going on here? The evolution of the brand. What is the CSS? We'll just post this. We'll just see what happens here. Okay, it doesn't look like this is copied, so this is fine. 
And then we'll grab some more internal links. So you do need a list of your internal links. I'm just going to do them at random. I'm not really looking at them right now. So I'm going to say at the top of the prompt, I'm going to say, write the body section of the essay. And then at the bottom of that, I'm going to say, here are my internal links. We're going to hit enter again. And here we go. Origins in Naples, Italy, founding by Vincenzo Attalini. Is this repeating itself? Nope, it's not. Interesting. So this is actually working pretty well, as you can see. So founding by Vincenzo Attalini in the 1930s. Cesare Attalini was founded by uh, in Naples by Vincenzo in the 1930s. The brand quickly became known for its masterful craftsmanship as well as its, its unique take on the Neapolitan tailoring tradition. B, the Neapolitan tailoring tradition. The Neapolitan tailoring tradition is characterized by its focus on precise craftsmanship, meticulous attention to detail, and the use of high-quality materials. It is the foundation that has shaped Cesare Tellini into the world-renowned brand it is today. Breaking away from traditional... This is actually super accurate content. This is super, super... Yeah, th this is literally true. This is 100% true. His vision led to the development of a new style of menswear that prioritized comfort and elegance. Introduction of the unstructured lightweight suit. I cannot believe how accurate this information is. This is this is honestly crazy how accurate this information is. Now, it's not internally linking um, what I would normally do in this situation. I'm not going to just because this is some of the best content I've ever seen produced. It has just started internally linking as well. So I'm very glad that I didn't stop it generating. I could have stopped it generating there, but I'm really, really glad that I didn't because this is super good content and it's it has started internally linking now. So expansions, casual wear and accessories. Honestly, this this is possibly the best way to write ChatGPT content right now. Splitting it into three parts, intro, body and conclusion. It means that you get longer content, you have more control over the content, and it's just it's just better. Continue from exactly where you left off. Please don't mess up now. Oh, it's perfect. It's actually perfect. Okay, so we'll paste this. Apparently, that didn't copy. Let's take this and... Okay, I don't know why, but Control V was not working there. Like, I have not seen that in, in a hell of a long time. That was really, really strange. But we got it working in the end. It's still generating. I honestly, I don't. I, I don't. I, this is actually insane. This is so much better. Thank you to whoever reminded me about this. I I said in the comments that I I didn't know about this. If you watch some of my early videos. I do talk about splitting it up into three parts. I just completely forgot about it for some reason. So please, no matter how basic you think your comment might be, please always leave a comment because it helps me more than you might know, even if something seems really, really obvious. Because I'm often looking at the macro of things instead of the micro, I do miss really obvious points sometimes so thank you to whoever wrote that comment it was very very helpful even though i did already know about this i had just literally forgotten for god knows how long i forgot about it for okay so we're going to say write the conclusion and then we're going to grab the final bit of links let's just go with these ones and we'll say here are my internal links so obviously Within the, within the playground, um, so for some reason, you might have seen my other videos about these kinds of methods. And I do have this method where you automatically embed your collections into the blog post, which means you can literally copy paste an entire article without adding even any images except the featured image. However, the ChatGPT front end, this is what I call the ChatGPT front end chat to chat, uh, the one that everybody uses, the most famous version of ChatGPT, it doesn't work very well with the embeds, okay? So if you do want the automated embedding system, I do highly recommend that you check out 
the playground, which can be found on platform.openai.com slash playground. While that's just finishing, I'm going to use Microsoft Designer. So a Shopify featured blog post for a an article about Cesare Attolini as a classic men's wear brand. So I'm going to use uh, Microsoft Designer to make a f um, featured image. We have a team of photographers, so I already have this photo ready to go. A little bit cheating, I guess. But the end result is perfect. But even if you don't have an image here, if you press generate, it will generate something that will be usable and will be made a lot more quickly than if you made it with something like Canva, okay? So I'm mainly focused on speed right now, which is why I use um, Microsoft Designer. So we're gonna paste the final bit of content here and then I'm gonna show you how to basically put it all together into a blog post. So let's change this name to, let's get rid of this Shopify image blog post for an article about, so we'll just do that and then we'll download. Okay, go to Shopify or whatever um, CMS you're on and you can just basically paste it straight in. I don't know why there's a one there. Okay, let's, re let's reload this. Might have to get rid of the one at the top because that seems to be messing everything up. There is no one at the top, so I don't know where that one even came from. So Shopify has this weird thing where this button sometimes doesn't work. So while you're waiting for that to work, it's working now, obviously. But while you're waiting for that to work, you should always be doing something if you're um, waiting for something to work. So I added that the image there, and then I'm going to paste all of this content in. And we're going to take the title and put it here. And then we're going to delete the title because we don't need it anymore. We're going to make this H2 because it automatically makes that into H1 when you delete uh, the white space at the top. Then I'm going to click show HTML and I'm going to do control F and I'm going to write flex. There is no flex, which means this is all formatted correctly. If there was something, some kind of flex, okay, if flex was written anywhere on this page within HTML, you want to go to HTML washer on, you want to search HTML washer on Google and then paste the code here and press wash. This will make the code cleaner anyway. You can do this anyway, to be honest with you, because it will just make the code a little bit cleaner, which might help with SEO. We don't know exactly. So the big moment of truth, I want to know how many words this is because I've been struggling to get over 1000 words and I have a feeling this is going to be closer to 2000. It's 1,321. I would say that was a great result. I'm very, very happy with that. One thing you want to do is you want to see if it says word, the word essay anywhere in the article and you just want to change it to blog just for just for being a perfectionist sake. Other than that, I wouldn't really close. I wouldn't really change anything else. I would just press save and that's it. Cesare Tellini as a classic menswear brand. The content's good. Um, I read most of it and yeah, I'm really, really happy with this method. I hope this helps. I hope this encourages people to make more long form informational content because that is the stuff that really, really ranks on Google. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon with some more content and peace out.